Hi everyone, quick video. I've moved things around a little bit, antenna wise. Um, I've now got one of my Welbrook loops going into the living room so as that I can uh, listen to HF uh, and be lazy, sat on the sofa. And I've swapped that with the Benito Mega Loop FX, which is now going into my shack. And um, what I've also done is I've mounted both the antennas in a sort of temporary sense and I need to buy a shed. So this Welbrook loop here, which is back on its tripod, um, this is the antenna that is going into the living room. Interesting to see whether it makes much of a difference to performance or not. I don't think it does because I can remember at my old QTH for about two years, I, my Welbrook loop literally sat on a wood on a, on a wooden crate basically on the ground and um when i put it on this tripod and then put it in, in a shed actually what yeah it was this tripod I, I don't remember there being much difference to what i could hear um there is a difference between using one of these indoors and outdoors that's another video actually because i've got two antennas and because i've done the test now and they are basically both the same in terms of noise floor signal to noise etc i could actually place one outside and put one inside and run the same signal on the uh, RSP Duo and you can actually see the difference in performance between having one of these indoors and outdoors. There is a difference. Um, so that antenna is going to be used on its own. And then in terms of comparing the Wellbrook to the Mega Loop, which I th is here, suspended from the fence for now, vaguely pointing towards, North, well not vaguely actually, pointing towards North America, actually pointing down the side of my house actually so uh because i have a a kind of access side access well, i've got side access on both sides of the house but uh, you can see um and then so the top of that antenna is roughly the same height as the top of the welbrook loop which is next to it which i've basically hung also on the fence uh i know that looks probably horrendous to you um i just the way that i've suspended it but this the loop itself is covered in bubble wrap uh, which is how it arrived in the post and I've been using it that way ever since. Uh, no reason to take it off as yet. Um, all the coaxial cables are all sealed with self-amalgamating tape, which does seem to be working because that's one thing that that uh, I've not had an issue with. Uh, same for the uh, Benito magnetic loop. So basically two antennas, same height, next to each other uh, in the garden. Um, and then uh, please ignore the state of the grass. I'm going to get the lawnmower out later and then uh, into the shack again ignore the mess um, so yeah so the SDR play RSP duo the perfect radio to compare antennas and so what I've got here um, I think this is radio free Asia 15275 kilohertz let me just uh, shut the door Okay, so what you have is on the uh, on the right hand side of the screen, you've got the uh, Mega Loop FX. I've just switched off the power supply to confirm that. Uh, on the left hand side, you've got the um, Welbrook Loop, and uh, so what is immediately obvious on this frequency, and obviously there's going to be lots more videos uh, to uh, to in, in comparing these two. You've got so you've got the Mega Loop FX with a lower noise floor. I reckon it's about minus 125 dBs, when, which when you consider it's, um, what time is it? 15.47? Sorry, 15.52, 15.53, what we're we talking about. Um, that is a pretty low noise floor. Well, that's a very, no, a very low noise floor. I mean, I am fortunate. Um, and that, so that's the Mega Loop FX. And then when you compare it to the Wellbrook Loop, it's actually spot on minus 120. So the, the noise floor on the Wellbrook Loop is 5 dBm uh, higher, which is, is that a surprise? I don't know, maybe it is. Um, but what's also interesting is that the signal to noise on the Wellbrook is generally calculated as being slightly better than the uh than than the than the mega loop fx now i'm saying that uh but actually 
on this frequency, yeah, so we've got 35 versus 34, 30 versus 41. So actually, that the, the sequence noise is all over the place. So it's not actually clear. I, I did some comparisons last night, and on most frequencies, the signal to noise value on the Wellbrook loop was better, slightly better than the Mega Loop FX. Um, and even though the Mega Loop FX seems to have a lower noise floor, when that basically, basically what, I, what I'm trying to say is I, I'm not sure how accurately the uh, signal to noise reading actually is. Obviously, it's a dynamic reading. Um, pretty similar anyway and in terms of actual signal strength what that that is clear you can just see from the bar actually that the signal strength with the wellbrook is slightly stronger right now it's reading about 60 dbs uh minus 62 um minus 66 67 um so easiest way probably is just to look at the uh at the, at the signal strength bar and you can see the red portion on with the wellbrook loop is always pushing a bit further towards plus 20 on this signal than the uh, than the mega loop fx so interesting isn't it lower noise floor with the with the mega loop fx um similar signal to noise um more signal strength with the wellbrook and if we actually just look at the audio so this is the audio on the uh, mega loop and this is the audio on the wellbrook loop Back to the I'll just switch between them. So, I mean, on a strong signal, that is, basically makes no difference whatsoever. Um, the acid test is basically testing these antennas in parallel um, on weak signals, which is what I will do. So I will, um, I will carry out some tests on long wave, medium wave, and HF. Um, I think probably the best way to be sure uh, on weak signals is, is probably medium wave transatlantic but um but also you know i can i can go for um radio club de para 60 meters 4885 radio diffusora uh Roraima on 4875 uh, chu 3330 um, um there's various stations on hf and on long wave medium wave so i think that's the best way comparing them on a very strong signal like this which is sort of 10 over s9 is not the best way but it, it, it but it is a good demonstration in terms of the actual noise um that is being uh oh the noise floor i mean both very good for this time of day you know three three o'clock in the afternoon or well approaching three o'clock in the afternoon and minus 120 versus minus 125 i mean you know you couldn't make that up um i'm really fortunate that there's that you know i don't have any other properties for very very close to me or at least very close to my antennas so that's really good um so there you go so um interesting isn't it it's uh, as is usually the case when you compare radios or antennas it's not always completely straightforward you know these are sort of similar devices manufactured in different countries but using a sort of similar kind of principle uh you know but it's basically an, an amplified mag loop and um yeah you've got yeah Sort of similarities and differences in terms of what these two uh, antennas can do. So um, it'll be interesting to to test them across sort of several bands. Um, okay, so that's about it for me. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll be doing another lockdown uh, video weekend number three, I guess, on Saturday. Um, until then, I'll be um, I'll still be listening to the radio and uh, listen to the news, as I'm sure all of you are. Um, all the best from me to you. Keep safe and uh, thanks for watching.